I can't remember what I'm trying to say. No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't remember nothing. La la la. so I can have my, um, I can't think at all today, can I? Stomach cam. What's the stomach cam called? Endo. I need to be, um, given the go to do the endoscopy bobber. I'll put the name up on there because I can't remember for shit. Yeah, and my mom says I have to be put to sleep for it, so... Since my heart is going all the way up to 227 and it's going all the way down to like 27 and my oxygen is going down below 80, it's like what the fuck is going on? You know, I have the posture orthostatic tachycardia syndrome diagnosed through a uh, poor man's tilt table test, but my new cardiologist just wants to do another tilt table test before she gives me the go on this other one. And um, part of me wonders if they're going to diagnose me something else besides POTS or if they're going to add something to it or what because I've done some research and I can't see anybody that has had their heart go down that low. Um, you know, it could be another part of the dysautonomia bubble or something, but whatever it is, we need to find out what it is. So, you know, it, I still think it is POTS. Um, so we're going to go... Um, have this consultation with this man, and um, from what my um, cardiologist said, he'll probably set me up for a tilt table test um, just to check everything out. And um, whatever the answer is, hopefully that'll give us the go to be able to do the surgery to find out if I have like gastroparesis or maybe a scar in my stomach or something like that because I'm throwing up every day and it's just, I'm having to force myself to eat to keep my weight up and it's just not fun. So the sooner we get answers, the better. We're not gonna be using the wheelchair today because this place is pretty small. So I'm just gonna have my mom push me on my walker, but we're here. I have another flare again. I've had one on and off since like three days ago and I need to see my ur urinary, what do you call them? I'm supposed to be getting into a new um, urogynecologist, but I haven't heard back from them yet. They're supposed to be sending over my information, but every time they say it's over there, it's not. So it's taken me a lot longer to get into him. I have a lot of cat hair on me. Yes, you do. Can you all see it? I just brought my kitties to the doctor's office. Mm. That's all I did. I turned the camera and it probably looked weird for a second. It was probably sideways. I keep telling you those cats are going to be shaved one of these days. No. Yes, they will. You're going to come home to bald cats. Animal cruelty. Mm. We know who to blame. Bald cats. You will come home to bald cats. Because that unacceptable. But it is acceptable. It keeps you warmer. Yeah, right. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, okay. I'm not doing an EKG right here, so that's fine. Okay. Take your hands off the water, girl. Yeah, oh. it cheats me. fall. Hey, so I'm just cuddling with Lily. Oh, you're not gonna let me kiss you? Rude. Okay. 
I'm going to tell you how my doctor's appointment went. Um, it went really well. I like this guy. He's nice. Seems really chill and cool. Um, he decides that he wants to schedule a pot, um, not a pot, but a tilt table test. He's probably going to diagnose pots too, he thinks. Um, but, um, he just wants to be sure, um, so that, you know, we can, um, give a go on that, um, camera test. Which, I was right, but again, I can't remember, I was right about the name, but I can't remember it now again. Endoscopy? I think that's it, yeah. But, um, he noticed that when I stood up from the chair to get up to the table, that my heart did increase, um, but I sat down really quickly and it lowered, so he's like, yeah, that seems, it wasn't like a tilt table test, he just something he noticed. Um, but he wants to do a official table test, which I'm happy about. I've kind of wanted one since I got the pot diagnosis um, because my GP diagnosed me with it. And, like, it makes sense, you know. I see the numbers there on the pulse oximeter and the... Um, okay, I'll stop messing with your tail. Um, what do you call it? The blood pressure monitor thing? you know, um, and I have, it, it, it shows POTS, but, um, that's, it doesn't, when you're doing that, it's not constantly, like, when you're doing a poor man's table test, you're not constantly monitoring it. You're laying down for five minutes, they take your pressure and your pulse oximeter thingy, and then, um, I can't think, I'm sorry. Um, you stand, you sit up, you know, just a little bit to where you're on your butt. They take it again, both things, stand up, do it again. They write that down, and then with those numbers, you know, that's how they do it. When you're doing a official, like, table test, they're going to strap you to a table, and they're going to constantly monitor my heart rate and oxygen and blood pressure. Um, which I'm not excited about having to do that. I know I'm, I know I'm going to feel like crap during and probably after too, because I don't really ever feel good when I just do a normal table test. And I think they're going to keep me up for an hour. So I really hope I don't faint. If I do faint, I faint. But, um, I really don't want to faint. Fainting sucks. I don't know if y'all have ever fainted before, but it's scary and... With my PTSD coming out of it, it's, I'm always kind of confused and just, I don't know, not myself right away, but the guy just said that I was doing everything I needed to do and that, um, He's also referred me to somebody else. Um, I don't remember exactly what they're supposed to be doing with that, but it's uh, like a if he can't figure it out type thing, I guess, which I don't think, I don't know why he wouldn't be able to figure it out. The guy works with NASA. I remember that. <laughs> um, I don't know why that was important though. Hmm. I'm sorry, I can't remember. It's not even been that long. We wrote it down on a on thing. So I, I know what it is. You'll find out later. But um, we're not even sure if we're going to do it yet. Like, I think I'm only going to call them and go to that place unless... Um, I can't remember his name or the place. But, like, he, I know what he does, kind of. He, it would be to... Maybe I don't know what he does. Yeah, don't listen to me right now. Um, my brain's mush. Forgot what I was saying. Today, my memory's been really bad today. I can't remember what I'm trying to say. No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't.
can't remember nothing. La la la. I'm really proud of myself. I'm doing what I need to do and um I'm going to this EEG unit even though I'm not excited about it. I am proud of myself for going. And I'm proud of myself for going to the doctor's office today because I was really tired and I did not feel good this morning. Um like when I first got up, I was really tired and didn't feel good and I just wanted to lay down and cancel the appointment and not go. I slept better last night than I had in a while, but for some reason I just was feeling really gross this morning and was just not up to it, but um, I got up anyway and I went and I'm proud of myself for that because I needed to go and he, this guy was cool. He, he was nice and um, very much, I think he liked my opinion that I had and he liked the fact that I was well informed. I've never had a doctor that um, noticed how informed I am. You know, I do have some issues communicating my the information that I have, but he was pretty patient with me and um, he didn't say sorry every single time I had a jerk. I've had a few during the office visit um, and a lot of people just like, are you okay? Sorry, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. You don't, and you know, like the first time I can get it the first time, I guess. But overly keep doing it constantly. Like, I'm fine. If I was fine the fifth time I did it, I'm fine the 17th million time I've done it. So, um, I'm just really proud of myself. So, yeah. And I recommend you finding something you're proud of yourself about. Doesn't matter what it is. Maybe you made your bed. You brushed your teeth. You brushed your hair. You put your makeup on. Or, um, paid your bills. Maybe you went to work today. Maybe you didn't blow up at somebody when you really wanted to beat them in the head. You know? <laughs> something. You should be proud of yourself. I'm sure there has to be something you can be proud of yourself for. Yeah, you should do that today. But, um, I'll see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.